What is up guys, welcome to another video on my channel here at Delicious Day. Now the past few days I've been kind of sick and so I apologize ahead of time. I might sound a little bit nasy in this video, but I still wanted to do this video and give you guys a lot of good information. So today in this video, I wanted to talk about the topic of some of the best ways that you guys can actually do to reduce the cost of a hair transplant and things that you guys can do to get the best price at the hair transplant clinic of your choice. Now, it's no brainer that when it comes to hair transplants, it's gonna be very pricey, regardless of where you go. Even, you know, outside of the US, it can be very pricey. And even in the US, like the, I think the typical cost of a hair transplant can run anywhere from like $5,000 to $15,000. I've seen some people that spent over $20,000, $25,000, depending on the severity of the hair loss and you know how much the doctor was charging and how many grafts that they wanted to implant. You know, we can all agree that hair transplants are expensive. And even if you go to places like in Turkey, India, South Korea, Thailand, they can still add up because you also have to factor in the costs of the flight ticket, lodging, you know, food, and if you want to like tour around the area, that's also going to add in more money. For a lot of the people, we know that the price of a hair transplant is going to determine where they're going to go and by whom they're going to get it done by. Most people don't have the luxury to spend just thousands of dollars. You know, it really kind of limits a lot of the people. Um, and that's why some people go to India where it's a lot cheaper than let's say like the US where the average cost of a graft can run anywhere from five to seven dollars via FUE. So I did some research into finding some of the easiest ways to lower the cost of hair transplantation and I also found out different ways that you guys can actually do to save some money. First off, I think that the best way to pay for a hair transplant is to go through with one of the credit card unions or credit card. And I'm not saying that people who end up paying cash for hair transplants are stupid, but nowadays many credit card companies actually offer a lot of incentives to just use their credit cards. You know, we have things like cash back, we have, you know, points that you can use to buy gift cards, merchandise, there's travel points, etc. And one of the best credit cards that I actually came across in the US is with Chase. And I actually signed up for this a few months ago. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to use this when I had my hair transplant back in 2016 of November because I was not aware that they offered this kind of incentive for credit cards. But the one that I actually looked into and got is Chase by Chase Sapphire Preferred Card, where if you spend $4,000, you are actually gonna get 50,000 points back, which is equivalent to $500. Or if you want it, you can also get 50,000 points, which is equivalent to $625 in travel points. So for most people, and even including myself, a hair transplant can easily cost more than $4,000. And if it doesn't, it's gonna cost at least a few thousand dollars. Once you meet that threshold of $4,000, you guys can actually get $500 back. And that's still a good chunk of money just by using your credit card. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, paying cash is stupid because a lot of the time, some doctors will actually give you further discounts if you um, offer to pay in cash. Saving $500 for a hair transplant that costs $5,000 is saving 10%, which is still a big deal because, you know, most countries are gonna still let you use Visa cards and when I went to South Korea, I actually ended up using one of my other credit cards, but they didn't have the discounts because I didn't know about it. But they do take different, you know, different credit cards from different countries. They do have a $90 fee, $95 fee every year. But if you wanted to, you can just get your promotion of $500 once you meet $4,000 threshold and you can cancel it if you guys don't mind, you know, taking a small hit to your credit. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to be posting up the link in the description box so that you guys can take a look. Now, like I said, if you guys are not living in the US, I'm pretty sure that other countries do offer some similar rewards programs where if you spend like an X amount of dollars, you can actually get some money back. So make sure to check some of those out. Number two, this is actually something that I kind of regret not doing, but I actually wasn't able to do this when I first got my hair transplant because I wasn't sure if I wanted to share my results to the public. Um, I didn't know if I actually was brave enough to go ahead and say, you know, hey guys, you know, I took, you know, I had a hair transplant. Here are my results, take a look. But now that I actually started, you know, doing videos back in 2016, I kind of look back to it and I kind of think to myself, why did I not do this sooner? So for those who are actually considering getting a hair transplant and don't mind sharing your results with other people, make sure to check this out. Now, one of the best ways to market and expose any business, this also includes hair transplant clinics, is through social media marketing. We have popular social media handles, including Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others where people post up videos, you know, they, they have their own 
Facebook uh, groups, tweets, you know, Instagram pictures, and a bunch of other stuff where we expose ourselves not only to you know millions of people, you know, like in the in the world, but also to other people across from different nations. And so I feel like social media is one of the best ways to go ahead and expose a business or you know just just yourself back in january of 2016 i started my youtube channel hair deliciously and i've just pretty much just been documenting my hair transfer progress i've been uploading videos on hair loss topics so i feel like one of the best ways to get a discount is to go ahead and talk with the hair transplant doctor that you are actually interested in getting your procedure with and let him or her know that you are willing to document your whole hair transfer progress through social media like YouTube, like in my case, to help expose the clinic's business in exchange for a discounted price. If you look at social media handles like YouTube, there's not a lot of people that actually document their whole hair transfer progress, but with millions and millions of viewers on YouTube, it's actually one of the best ways to expose just about anything, including their businesses. So if you can convince the doctor that you will help them attract more people interested in hair transplants and possibly bring you know, different patients to that clinic, I don't see a reason why the doctor wouldn't want to offer you a good discount in exchange for you doing documenting on YouTube. And I can speak from personal experience, and while I'm not being endorsed or anything like that with Motion Clinic, which is the hair transplant clinic that I actually went to get my procedure with, now I can personally speak from experience that I've actually had a few people reach out to me because of the videos that I made and ended up getting the very same hair transplant from the clinic that I went to simply because of the videos that they saw on my YouTube channel here, Liciously. Now, like I said before in some of my other videos, I wouldn't recommend Motion Clinic, but I already did a video on that. And if you guys are still interested, make sure to send me an email and I explain why. But without going you know, off tangent, social media is extremely powerful. And so it's like a win-win situation where you can not only help the doctor, but also work with the doctor by giving you a good discount. Now, the other thing is if you do tell your doctor that you are going to put this up on social media to document your hair transplant progress, then there's a good chance that the doctor will do an even better job of the procedure because you are exposing the work of your doctor you know, through social media, and if he actually does a bad job, that's gonna affect his uh, business negatively. So before when I actually wanted to get a second hair transplant procedure to lower the hairline, I actually reached out to a couple doctors, and I pretty much told them that, I, hey, you know, hey, I have this YouTube channel, and I'm pretty much documenting my whole hair transplant progress. I'm talking about hair loss topics, so it's pretty much pertinent to their businesses. And I told them that, you know, if, if you guys give me a good discount, then I'm willing to document my progress again. And I actually had one clinic in the US that offered me 1,000 grafts implanted into the front portion of the hairline to create a softened look. And they said that they would be able to do that for me for $2,000. Now, $2,000 for 1,000 grafts just comes out to be about $2 per graft via FUE, which is extremely cheap. That's even cheaper than South Korea. I'm pretty sure it's a lot cheaper than some of the other countries. And this doctor wasn't like just any random doctor. So this doctor is actually a pretty decent hair transplant doctor. I'm not going to give out his name because I don't want to endorse him or, you know, promote his business or anything like that. His name has been talked about, you know, in, from different various hair loss forums. You know, as you guys can see, you know, just simple things like this can not only benefit the clinic, but also help you save money. So with the whole YouTube thing on my channel, um, it did take a lot of hard work over the past uh, year, year, almost a year and a half now to get to where I am. And a lot of the things uh, contributed to a lot of my subscribers for just being very supportive throughout this whole hair transplant uh, journey. And I'm just thankful and grateful for just each and every one of you. And also because of that, I've actually been able to make money on my channel. I know that a lot of people that do YouTube videos, they don't like talking about how much money they make, but I don't care because I'm pretty open. And I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys were to walk in the same shoes that I did in my YouTube journey, I've actually been able to pull in at least 500 bucks a month just on some of the videos that I've been making. Now, 500 a month can easily cover the monthly payment of a hair transplant over the span of, you know, like a year or two. So 500 a month would come out to be like 6,000 in one year, which would have paid off all of my hair transplant costs. So as you guys can see, social media, you know, especially YouTube, you can not only, you know, not only get discounts from the doctor by saying, hey, look, I'm going to document my whole progress, but you can also get paid money because YouTube does pay you for ads that they place on your videos. Okay, number three, last but not least, you can save money depending on the time of the year you get your procedure done. So I specifically got mine in November of 2016 because Motion Clinic had an annual promotion 
where they give discounts every year sometime between November and December and since I did have two friends that actually got it at Motion Clinic prior to uh, when I actually got it done they told me you know hey go during this time of the year because this is when they actually have a lot of the sales so typically I would have had to pay five dollars per grad via FUE if I didn't go between November and December but since I did go in November they actually reduced the cost to three dollars so that's actually more like a 40 percent discount that i received just by going in the month of november now most clinics tend to have some type of yearly promotions it might actually be in your interest to give them a call to find out exactly when those periods of promotions take place i've noticed that a lot of these promotions take place in the months of november december in korea not just motion but other places because they have a lot of the holidays between those two months and if you're in the u.s we also have you know black friday thanksgiving christmas and I've seen a lot of the clinics that do offer these discounts during those holidays. During summer times, it might be a little bit slower, so you might be able to get more discounts during then. But summer times is when a lot of people don't want to get hair transplants because it's just hot, you know, sticky. During the winter time, it's a lot better when, you know, you get to hear your scalp because you don't have to worry about the sun exposing on your scalp as much. So you can spot for some good deals and promotions in, you know, if, if you don't mind getting them in the summertime or if you want to wait until like November, December, those would be the best times to get a hair transplant for the best discounts. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching my videos. I hope this has been somewhat educational and helpful. If you guys know of any other discounts that you guys can apply for hair transplants to lower the cost, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time.